Hello everyone, very good evening, MC Tamil Rasen here from Chennai Event Professionals, Event MC, MC Trainer, MC Manager and Founder of Chennai Event Professionals and Chennai Event MCs and Co-Founder of Chennai Event Entertainers. So today's exclusive topic is on BTL promotions, especially in apartments. Uh, so what is BTL activity? Uh, BTL stands for below the line and the opposite of BTL is ATL, above the line promotions. So below the line promotion is nothing but uh, you are contacting directly the customer, you are contacting the customers directly and above the line uh, marketing is uh, going through mass media like uh, TV, radio, newspaper, all these things. So I'm just, I'm not going to take into a detailed version of this, I'm just going to give the glimpse of what is BTL and ATL and how you can uh, do these activities in apartments. Uh, so as I said uh, in the beginning, ATL is above the line marketing uh, where it's involved at a huge level or a bigger level where you go for newspaper ad, TV ad and also it happen, happens at a national level or a state level or territory level taken care by the branding agency or uh, the company centralized department whatsoever. When it comes for BTL, it's very close to the customers like uh, you give the leaflets, you the leaflets, you conduct MC based activities, you put a kiosk in uh, apartments or mall, uh, you handle the flyers, all this and uh, you give the newspaper insert, all these things comes under BTL uh, which is nothing but contacting your customers directly and also sale may happen there as well. So this is what the basic thing about a BTL promotion because in event industry a lot of you would be uh, hearing this word uh, it's a BTL activity, BTL promotion. So you should so you should know what it's all about. It's nothing but reaching to the customer directly. Uh, that's the one line you need to understand about BTL promotion. Now what are the ways of doing BTL promotion? As I said it can be a newspaper insert, it can be a flyer distribution, it can be apartments activity, mall activity, it can be a road show. All these things come under the BTL. And I'm going to take the apartments activity here. I'm just going to give the example or uh, how you can execute an apartments activity. And this live is exclusively for the clients. This is not actually for the event managers or the event professionals because they, they may be already aware of this. In case you are not aware, it's a good live for you. And I just wanted to do this live for the client so that they understand what's a BTL promotion and uh, they can take the help of the event MC or the event manager to execute it in a smoother way. Well, when it comes for apartments promotion, uh, there are some five, six basic steps. That's it with that you can easily execute your retail activity. First thing, you need to list out the apartments. That is whatever your product or whatever your service, you need to find out the radius uh, or within which you need the promotion to happen. For example, if it's a play school or uh, if it's an art and science school or what or an art and entertainment school, all you are, you'll be finding is uh, some five to 10 kilometers radius so that uh, our students can travel. If it's after school activity, they need to travel after the school or if it's a play school or a Montessori school, again kids, they don't travel much. So you need to first decide the radius within which we are going to target the apartments. So first thing is selecting the target audience and the target apartments. Second, getting the permission from the apartments. Procedure, it's pretty simple. You can directly walk into any of those apartments or you can get their phone number, email address and you can mail them or call them over the phone. And uh, all the apartments, majority of the apartments, they give you permission. They either have an indoor community hall or they give the lawn or they give the playground or some place near the parking shed, uh, car parking, wherever. So 90% of the apartments where I have seen, um, they give permission for other, other activities because they do get some revenue out of it. So when you ap approach them for the uh, permission, they'll be asking you what sort of activity, what are the things you need. And they will have their own uh, procedure, like they will say we'll give you for two hours or we'll give you so and so space. This is the rent, uh, this place uh, costs this much and the other place costs uh, the other rate. So they will be having the ready-made tariff and uh, you can also say your requirement. So second thing is the apartment's permission. Once you have taken the permission, you'll be paying them either in cash or in DD or check or online transfer whatsoever and which they have their formalities. Once that's done, we can do the pre-promotion. Uh, before doing the pre-promotion or before booking an apartment, you need to say, um, decide what sort of activity you are going to do there. Whether you are going to do only newspaper insert or whether you are going to give the flyers distribution door to door or whether you are going to put a kiosk and uh, sit over there or stall or kiosk and sit over there and distribute the flyers or you are going to do MC based activity with, with mic or without mic. So you need to decide all these things and then get the permission. Once the permission is taken and once you have made the payment, you can do, do the pre-promotion. What are the ways of pre-promotion you can do is one is uh, again newspaper insert comes under pre-promotion and uh, putting it on the notice board, every apartment will have their own notice board and it differs from apartments to apartments. Few apartments will have only main boards like five or six and few apartments will have notice board for every block. So you need to, uh, you can talk with them, talk with the apartments manager uh, regarding the pre-promotion, like whether you are going to put it on the notice board, whether they have the email chain, I mean the email list where they can um, blast it uh, as an email to the, to the residents 
and the owners and the WhatsApp groups and the flyer distribution door to door. A few apartments, very few apartments allow the door to door distribution. And rest of the apartments, either they say you can do it as newspaper insert or you can put it in a common box or they will be having individual box for every flat or you can give it to the security or, or they may have some other source and uh, very few apartments allow you allow you or your promoter to go door to door and deliver it because nowadays it has become a risky thing that when you allow the outsiders a lot of things happen and um, uh, safety issues are there so usually uh, most of the apartments they don't allow third person to go door to door and do the canvassing so you need to make sure that you get the right details from the apartments manager so these are the pre-promotion ways and the last pre-promotion would be the banner most of the apartments will not allow you to keep banner for a longer time so when your activity is there one or two days before they allow you to keep your banner either at the entrance or they will have their own common visibility area other areas which are more visible for the uh, guests or the uh, i mean the owners and the residents of the apartments so you can use the banner so i'm sharing all this thing information with you because as a client you should know what are the things you need to invest for an apartment activity because after paying um, them a good sum of um, amount to the apartments if you're not going to do the pre-promotion definitely your activity is not going to be as effective as it could have been so you should be ready to invest on all these things like the flyers you need to print a flyer mentioning the date of the event that is the flyer that should go to uh, door to door if you're going to distribute the common flyer or common flyer, uh, brochure of yours people are not going to be aware that there is something going to happen that week they'll be getting just the information about your school or whatever the product or service so make sure that uh, you create a separate flyers or the um, uh, uh, or, uh, brochures to distribute to the uh, apartments, residents and the owners so that they turn up uh, for the event. So you have to be very careful about these things, about the banner, these flyers, mention the date. And the, as I said, uh, the last pro promotion activity would be pre-promotion would be having the banner at the apartments. And then if it's going to be MC based activity, you need to uh, book a mic. If there are no mic and speakers, you need to book a mic. Or if it's going to be kiosk based or if it's going to be only flyers distribution based, have the enough resources accordingly if it's going to be mc based definitely we will be able to give you a, a lot of support because we have uh, done almost like 40 50 apartments activity we have done it for school we have done it for uh, um, um, real estate properties and a lot more so definitely we'll be able to help you even if you want us to take care of the end to end like taking for taking the permission from the apartments manager until executing it and after that after the exhibition is over after the event is over what can you expect this is what most of the clients have there in mind uh, what would be the end result of doing an apartments promotion? Always tell them that there are 500,000 uh, flats. You cannot expect uh, every person to come over to the uh, event. Uh, you can expect 10 to 20 percent. Uh, again, this is not the exact data I'm giving you. It's a just a rough data I'm giving you. If there are uh, 200, 300 apartments, you can expect around uh, 30, 40 families to turn uh, turn up. Uh, in, uh, if you want me to give it in numbers, I can say 80 to 100 people can turn up. Uh, if you have uh, around uh, 200 to 300 flats when you say 200 to 300 flats if you take it on average two to three members per flat so it's roughly 600 to 800 total um, uh, residents of that uh, apartment so the average turn uh, turn up would be 80 to 100 that's what we have seen in the past so accordingly you have to be prepared and then once they come you need to be clear what that you are going to collect are you going to collect the database or you're going to just brand yourself distribute the flyers or you're going to conduct some activities and entertain the audience and uh, leaving them a great memory you need to decide it as much as possible i always tell my clients to collect the database because always database is very important you can use it at any point of time whether you are going to use it right then or whether you are going to preserve it when you are doing some activity and you are paying something and doing the activity it's good to collect the database and have it for your future purpose so once the database is collected then you can send the messages and again you have to be very careful you cannot keep blasting them with the bulk sms or you cannot keep them keep sending them messages i always um, alert my clients saying that your messages have to be very polished way you should have a branding consultant to de uh, design or develop your messages because that's very important not everyone uh, likes a bulk sms so, so be careful in um, drafting your messages once the activity is over you have a sequence of uh, messages or you have a, a sequence of uh, information to be passed for example uh, one simple tip i can share after the event is over once you collect the database you can leave a thanks message to all the residents saying that thanks for participating in our event looking forward to associating with you or looking forward to seeing you in our school or whatever you want to do that's the first message and then second third message you have to keep reminding them about the activities that's happening in your school or in your organization but it has to be very subtle that i doesn't disturb the client so if you'd like to know more about the drafting a message you can definitely uh, contact my mentor dr maharaja uh, you can uh, visit his website drmaharajasivasubramanian.com or you can contact me i'll share his links 
uh, is good at uh, helping you drafting the message, the drafting the marketing message and the sequences in which the message to be sent. So after the event is over, you get the database, you can contact them, you can follow with them. Sometimes we as an event MC or as an event organizer, our team also support you in following up with the clients. We have done that for a play school. After the event is over, we called all these clients. Sometimes we have a very good rapport with the client because we are the face of the school. We are the face of the organization when we conduct the activity. So when we call them again, uh, they will be glad to receive a call and uh, we ask them to visit the school. With that, our role is over. And uh, uh, it's not mandated that MC need to do the follow up there. But uh, sometimes as a goodwill uh, gesture or sometimes uh, uh, we do, do it for commercial as well. So we can do that as well. So what are the support you can expect from an MC or an event organizer? Uh, we can take permission for, we can also select, um, give the list of the apartments. We can take the permission, we can execute the entire event. We can then have the follow up with the clients and uh, make sure that they turn up uh, to your organization. From there, it's your duty to convert them uh, based on the infrastructure or based on the way you talk to them. Uh, it's up to you and uh, the uh, client uh, how they get converted. So this is all about uh, BTL promotions in an apartments. So to just to sum up this um, live BTL is nothing but below the line activity. ATL is above the line activity. ATL is a uh, mass communication. It's a mass marketing like uh, television, uh, media, radio, newspaper. BTL is directly you are approaching the clients or your customers or the target audience through flight distribution or through MC based activity or through newspaper insert. Uh, whether it's a mall activity, whether it's a roadshow or an apartments activity. So if you'd like to know more about this or if you'd like to conduct some uh, BTL activity for your organization, please do contact us on our mobile number 900-308-7198. And please do visit our websites at www.chenneyeventprofessionals.com and www.chenneyeventmcs.com. Good night. Stay blessed.